I want to talk about brotherhood. For Springsteen, the term refers to literal brotherhood, boys born to the same parents, but also to figurative brotherhood, a close bond between boys or men. In that sense, brothers can be the family you choose as opposed to the one you were born into. For Bruce, whose home life was rocky, these relationships between became especially important. In the song This Hard Land, Springsteen writes, Just one kiss from you, my brother, and we'll ride until we fall. This line speaks to the intensity of that relationship. The kiss between brothers has been enacted on stage during East Street Band concerts, for instance, in a 1985 performance of the song Thunder Road. The onstage kisses started before that, though. They go back to the 1970s, a time in which not only would two men kissing in public be more unusual than it is today, but interracial displays of affection were certainly more rare. After all, this was not so long after the Civil Rights Movement. So this would have been quite a dramatic show of unity. Springsteen doesn't just write about the bond of brotherhood, he performs it. But brotherhood is complicated, too, whether it involves brothers by birth or by choice. Brotherhood, like all relationships, tends to change over time. This is true in Bruce's life and in his art. Brotherhood can involve joy as in 10th Avenue freeze out, loss as in Bobby Jean, or reunion and acknowledgement of its complexities as in Blood Brothers. These three songs have their roots in Bruce's own experiences. In 10th Avenue freeze out, the narrator goes from saying, I'm all alone, I'm on my own, to the big man joined the band, I'm going to sit back right easy and laugh when Scooter and the big man bust this city in half. The mythology of the big man, Clarence Clemens, joining the band is extensive. When Bruce tells the story during concerts, he describes Clarence materializing like an epiphany out of a dark and stormy night. Clarence himself corroborates. He says, A rainy, windy night it was, and when I opened the door, the whole thing threw, blew off its hinges and blew away down the street. The band was on stage, but staring at me framed in the doorway. And maybe that did make Bruce a little nervous, because I just said, I want to play with your band. And he said, sure, do anything you want. The first song we did was an early version of Spirit in the Night. Bruce and I looked at each other and didn't say anything. We just knew. We knew that we were the missing links in each other's lives. He was what I'd been searching for. And in one way, he was just a scrawny little kid. But he was a visionary. He wanted to follow his dream. So from then on, I was part of history. As much as 10th Avenue Freeze Out is the origin story of a brotherhood, Bobby Jean is evidence of the pain that can result when brothers feel pulled in different directions. The backstory to Bobby Jean seems to be Steve Van Zant leaving the E Street Band just before the Born in the USA tour. Van Zant, whom Bruce had known since the two were teenagers, left ostensibly to pursue his own career, but there are hints that his creative differences with Bruce were reaching critical mass. The two often disagreed over which songs to include on albums, with Steve feeling that some of Bruce's best work was being left on the cutting room floor. Thus, the tracks box set actually contained some of Steve's favorite songs. This sense of not being on the same page comes out in the lyrics. Now I wished you would have told me. I wished I could have talked to you just to say goodbye. The song's end encapsulates an enduring wish for connection, while referencing the primacy of music, and particularly those radio-friendly three-minute records, in their relationship. Maybe you'll be out there on that road somewhere, in some bus or train, traveling along, in some motel room, there'll be a radio playing, and you'll hear me sing this song. Well, if you do, you'll know I'm thinking of you. Finally, in Blood Brothers, we see a mature perspective on brotherhood. How the intense friendships of adolescence are altered by adulthood and yet can remain important. Springsteen ex expresses the transition, perhaps imperceptible until it has already happened, with the following lines. We stood side by side, each one fighting for the other. We said until we died, we'd always be blood brothers. Now the hardness of this world slowly grinds your dreams away, making a fool's joke out of the promises we make. And what once seemed black and white now turns to so many shades of gray. We lose ourselves in the work to do and bills to pay. Nonetheless, the connection endures, ready to be reawakened. He continues, but the stars are burning bright, like some mystery uncovered. I'll keep moving through the dark, with you in my heart, my blood brother. An interesting coda. When the band reunited for the 1999-2000 tour, the song got another verse. Now out here on this road, out here on this road tonight, 
I close my eyes and feel so many friends around me in the early evening light. And the miles we have come and the battles we have won and lost are, so just, are just so many ro roads traveled, so many rivers crossed. And I ask God for the strength and the faith in one another, because it's a good night for a ride across this river to the other side, my blood brothers. To be sure, the Brotherhood of the East Street Band is not without its complexities. Despite the sentiments expressed in 10th Avenue Freeze Out, Bobby Jean, and Blood Brothers, the band has always been the employees and Bruce the boss. Springsteen was signed to Columbia Records as a solo artist, and it's his name alone as artist on the studio albums. Incidentally, this is why Bruce was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the E Street Band was not. They since have been. That's been corrected. But initially, it was just Bruce. Personal and on-stage relationships aside, Springsteen maintained tight artistic control, as evidenced by maintaining his status as solo artist with a band that he hires. Even when he was putting the E Street Band together, Springsteen recalls thinking, I wasn't interested in being in a band. I might be interested in having a band. I loved playing with them, but I learned through Steel Mill that small unit democracy was dead. In 1989, Springsteen fired the band, saying I needed to take a break, do some other things, probably play with some other musicians, which I hadn't done in a long time. Even after the E Street Band reunited, Springsteen has integrated projects without the E Street Band or with only parts of it, like Devils and Dust and the Seeker Sessions. Another song, Highway Patrolman, examines a fictional relationship between brothers. That is, brothers by birth. That brotherhood, too, is a changing relationship. The Vietnam War puts the brothers on diverging courses, while one brother enters a downward spiral, the other, as the title implies, connects with a new brotherhood, the Brotherhood of Law Enforcement. That brother, the Highway Patrolman, who narrates the song, experienced a kind of survivor's guilt. Although his brother didn't die in Vietnam, he wasn't the same when he returned. In The Two Brothers, we see the outcome of two paths. What happened if you went to Vietnam, and what happened if you were fortunate enough to stay home? Despite their divergent paths, the brothers maintain a bond, although now it's always on opposite sides of the law, and the highway patrolman's allegiance is put to the test. Now, with all this in mind, I want you to listen closely to the song, Highway Patrolman. <laughs> 